Hi, Brad Nessler in the booth, along with former quarterback Kirk Herbstreit. And we'll have reports from Aaron Andrews. Welcome to College Football, brought to you by EA Sports on ESPN. Today's game is between the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Rebels of Ole Miss. The energy's mounting here at Vaught Hemingway Stadium in Oxford, Mississippi. Alabama, what should we expect from them in this game? They'll only use a single back, which means that some of the additional run blocking responsibility is going to fall on the receivers and tight ends. They utilize a lot of zone blocking on their runs, so those guys have to keep the lanes open. For Alabama, an explosive running back could make life really difficult. What's great about this guy is that he gets stronger as the game winds down. He can wear out a defense all by himself. Kickoff is just ahead, but first let's take you down for the coin toss. We'd like to take this time to let you know that our game is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Alabama has lined up for the kickoff, and we're ready to get this one underway. Gathered in at the six. Gets to about the 24-yard line. I don't know about you, but this one feels like it's going to be a great ball game. The offense will take over at the 24. And the safety with the interception. There he goes. Touchdown time. That was a great play by the defense, and now they have the momentum. Things are going their way right now, and they'll be right back on the defensive side of the ball trying to make a quick stop so they can get the ball right back. He makes the PAT. Alabama is lining up to kick this one off. It's fielded at the two. Brought down at the 19-yard line. Let's see how the defense responds now, coming off that big play just a moment ago. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. It's complete. He gets hit out of bounds around the 29-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Second down, less than a yard. Ball on the 29-yard line. He takes it right side for a good game. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. First and ten. Ball on their own 33. They run left and he'll lose yardage. Once he saw it was a run, he made a great break on the ball and used his speed to make the big tackle. Zips it to the back. He's taken down right around the 34. That's some pretty timid play calling right there. Let's see if they decide to open it up a bit more. He heaves it deep. 
that close to being intercepted. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined and were able to break up the pass. Fourth down. They come out in a punt formation. Heading for the corner. Tackle made at the 25. Now here's the situation you look for when you're on the road. Try to get a good lead early and quiet down this crowd. They'll start at the 25-yard line. It's first and 10. Alabama is up a score. He's on the run. Caught. Brought down at the 30-yard line. They rolled the pocket left, and the quarterback made a nice completion there. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Nice run to the left there. A pickup of five. From their own 35-yard line, it's third down. And this stadium is getting loud. They go with the toss, and they get nice yardage on that run. They keep it on the ground and get the first down. Give credit to the big boys up front. They did an excellent job of allowing the back to get nice yardage there. First down, 10 yards to go. They keep it on the ground with a tail. Makes it out to about the 50. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. It's second and two. Ball on the 50. Play fake. Here comes the defense. I think the secondary caught a break there with that ball being overthrown to the tight end. I know he's a big fella, but he's still a playmaker, and that had big play written all over it. The student section's going crazy. Tackled after decent pickup. Third down has been the charm on this drive. You know, it's been all about execution. When it comes to calling the right play at the right time, they've been able to do it here. First and ten. Ball on the 46-yard line. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. To the 20. And they tackle him at the 6. What a pretty pass play. This is just a simple play-action pass. The defense here bid on the fake just enough, allowing the quarterback to find an open target, and the result is a big gainer. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and goal. They've got a great scoring opportunity right now. Let's see if they make the most of it. They go with a run. Nice run there. They get five yards on the play. It's the ninth play of the drive. Second down. They're crowding the line. His tight end touchdown. They had a mismatch and exploited it for the score. If yep, you're right, the tight end had that one all the way, and there wasn't much the defense could do. Now let's go down to our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. She's got an injury update. Thanks, Brad. The training staff has confirmed he just had the wind knocked out of him on that play. He's been cleared to return to the game. Guys, back up to you upstairs. Thank you for that update, Aaron. Alabama to kick.
He'll take it from the two. Gets to about the 24-yard line. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. yard line they get maybe a yard on the toss second and nine coming up here ball is loose fumble wow another bounce goes their way this one has all the makings of a route First and ten. Fakes it, and the quarterback scrambles. Touchdown time. He's on the receiving end for another score. And a great awareness by the quarterback to get in the ball and pick up six points. Now let's go down to our sideline reporter, Aaron Andrews. She's got an injury update. Thanks, guys. You can see the amount of pain he was in when the injury first occurred. Every move sent a shooting pain through his lower back. The injury isn't serious at all, and he's ready to get back on the field. Guys, back up to you upstairs. Thanks for the update, Aaron. He'll take it from the two. Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Let's see how the offense rebounds after fumbling on their last possession. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. It goes straight to the back. Makes it to the 22-yard line. That's a three-yard pickup. The middle linebacker came on a blitz and did a great job of blowing up that run. and hammered down. They get three yards on the play. There was simply no daylight on that play. The defender came in and dropped the hammer. Tosses it out. And they make the stop at the 28-yard line. That was some sure tackling to make sure he didn't pick up the first down. tackled at the 36 and now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession <laughs> takes the ball right he's tackled at the 45 yard line great job by the running back and that's a gain of nine It's second and inches. Ball on their own 45. Here's the halfback, and he's brought down hard behind the line. Really good job by the big guys up front to use their size and speed and get the runner in the backfield. Flips it, middle to the running back. They'll bring him down at about the 41. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and so far it's been pretty one-sided. Our score here at Vaught Hemingway Stadium is the Crimson Tide, 21, the Rebels, nothing. From the 41-yard line, 
First down. Here's a running play. And they make the stop at the 38. Three yards there on the play. From the 38-yard line, second down. Tries to get around the corner. He's got an opening. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Good solid running right there. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary before he could be stopped. Here's the give. Runs right for a nice game. Seven yard play. It's second and three. Ball on the 13 yard line. Another trip to the red zone. Last time, it resulted in a touchdown. Catches it. And that sets them up for the first and goal. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. They're crowding the line. Feeds it to the back. This one has gotten out of hand. Usually we don't see games get real ugly until the second half, when the talent of the depth chart starts to show. But man, we're still here in the first half, and it's already looking like a blowout. the extra point and now we're going to take a look at the drive summary and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff from his own goal line gets to about the 24 yard line the last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. They'll go to work at the 24-yard line. Run right side. He's hit and got away. That'll be a two-yard game. And the defense had great pressure there. They blitzed the middle linebacker, and there were no holes for the halfback to run through. Way to look it in. They had a little bit too much air under that throw, but this receiver has the bounce you need to bring in those high passes. It's first and ten. They hand it off again. Back old after decent pickup. They'll get six yards. They're about four yards away here on second down. Hit as he threw, and he completes it. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's 
tackled in the open field. But this defense keeps taking chances with these blitzes. Sure, they may get to the quarterback once in a while, but they also are giving up some big plays like that one right there. First and 10, ball on the 21-yard line. tackled at the 20-yard line. Gain of about a yard on the halfback toss. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on the 20. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. It's a direct snap. And they make the stop around the 18-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. That makes it make sense in seven. Here's the eighth play of the series. Brought down at the 10. I think he was going to go to his tight end the whole way, but the defense didn't expect it. Sometimes those big guys can fool defenders into thinking they're blocking. First down, they'll line up on the 10. They go with a the run. They bring him down in the backfield. And they back up three yards on that play. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Second down. And so it's another third down upcoming here. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. He fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. converts the extra point. And here's our drive summary. Ole Miss ready to kick this one off. He'll return it from the four-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. He's known for locking down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber on the ball carrier. It's second down now, 14 to go. About two minutes before halftime. Handoff, and he's met in the backfield. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he's stopped before he even gets going. Gets it on the pitch. And he's tackled after positive yardage. The defense calls a timeout. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. I've got to tell you, I'm really surprised that they aren't going to just put this ball away. He's scrambling. He's rolling right. Here's the tight end, has a first down. He hustles the troops to the line.
He's going to try and scramble. Throws right, intercepted. There you go. If you're going to come back in this game, it's going to start with one play. And maybe that pick is what turns things around for you. First and ten, ball on their own 42. It's complete, and he's level at the 44-yard line. He let that one go before the defense got to him, and it fell incomplete. Well, sometimes if you can safely get rid of the ball, it's your best option. to about the 47-yard line. The defense calls a timeout. They'll take this one from the 10. He's taken down at the 21. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Throws complete and he's hit right away. A gain of six. It's a decent pickup that time on a well-designed play. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Can't find anyone open. And that one's incomplete. The defense always likes to see a pass broken up, but getting the turnover would have been really big. Here's third down, four yards to go. Ball on the 27. They come out in a goal line set. Here's the tight end, has a first down. Let's give this quarterback a lot of credit. He recognized the man coverage. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. He probably knew he was going to go to the post before the ball was even snapped. Well done. He has some room. And he's finally taken down at the 31-yard line. This is a team that knows when and how to attack on the ground. They have a very good sense for what plays will work when. They toss it, and he's got the corner. He might have a chance. And they push him out at the 10-yard line. That last carry puts him over the century mark for the game. What you like is how clever he is at allowing the play to take shape before he makes his move. That shows vision and maturity. He makes it out to maybe the 10-yard line. The offense calls a timeout. Second down. Here we go from the nine. Finds a man. Touchdown. That's TD pass number three. The quarterback is just having a great game so far. He's had absolutely no problem finding the end zone. So we take a moment here. Let's check out the drive summary. Yeah. Alabama gets set to kick this one away. It's fielded at the two. Takes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. The offense will take over at the 19-yard line. First and 10. Here's a running play. And down he goes at the 21. That'll be a two-yard gain. The defense calls a timeout. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. 
They'll bring him down at the 29. We've reached halftime, folks. But stick with us, because you just never know, do you? Our score here at Vaught Hemingway Stadium is... Alabama, 35. Old Miss, 7. Hopefully, we're going to see some better football as we get ready to start the second half. From the eight-yard line, he gets out to about the 22-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. They'll start this drive at the 22. It's first and 10. handoff brought down at the 32 yard line and that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back it's second down now and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker Keep it on the ground again. That's a great tackle at the 44. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First and 10, ball on the 36. I'll tell you something, I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16. In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. it up the middle for a nice run about four yards on that play second down from the 11 yard line a little laundry on the field and we'll find out whose it is You've probably heard it said that there's holding on every play. It's just not called. I don't think it's really that prevalent, but you can get away with it sometimes, and other times you can't. Second down and a ways to go because of the penalty. Hands it off. What a play, and that is first and goal. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play-action pass. First and goal. Two yards to the end zone. Complete touchdown. He's up to four TD passes now. All the hard work he puts in is finally paying off. It's been rewarded here today with some pretty good throws, leading to some remarkable touchdowns.
he hits the PAT. Let's take a glance at the drive summary. Alabama is ready to kick it away. It's fielded at the two. Gets to about the 24-yard line. We're about set to start things up again. This drive will start at the 24. Hand off, and he's met immediately. And they pick up two yards. It's a good run blitz by the outside linebacker there. They shut down all the holes and kept this halfback from gaining many yards. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Four yards gain. Third down and four coming up on this one. some pressure on him that time. Yeah, and what that does is mess up the timing of the offense, causing the incompletion. And down he goes at the 35. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Here's the option. He's taken down around the 31-yard line. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. to the tailback and he's met in the backfield the defense had that one called perfectly that's a big play on that loss third and long ball on the 26 can't find anyone open Going deep, lays it out there. He's had a good game, snaring passes for 100 yards. Well, he's such a big target with good speed, and that's what makes him a dangerous part of this offense. It's first and 10, ball on the 37. And they'll run him again. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll be a seven-yard pickup. It's second and four. Ball on the 30-yard line. And he's taken down right around the 18-yard line. If you're the defense, who do you try to cover this guy with? He's too fast for most linebackers. He's too big for most corners. You have to rely on your safeties, who generally aren't very good in one-on-one -on -one coverage. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18. The last time they were in the red zone, they got a touchdown out of it. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down at about the nine-yard line. Great job by the running back, and that's a gain of nine. That makes it make second and two. It's second down, threatening inside the 10. Here's a run. And they make the stop around the seven yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. From the seven yard line, first down. Now 
now he's scrambling. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. He let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time, but he'll get the next one. And he has it on the corner. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. Strong run by the halfback to get into the end zone. He's a pretty sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. Splits the uprights with the extra point. That score leads us to our drive summary. Alabama to kick. From the five yard line. And down he goes, the 24 yard line. The defense shut him down on their last drive, forcing a quick punt. First down, 10 to go. Tosses it out. Runs outside for a nice game. Good six yards there by the halfback on the toss play. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Decent game there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. He knew where he had to go to get the first down, and he got there. Nice run. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Slings it out there incomplete. That's what the defensive back coach likes to see. His kids reacting when the ball's in the air and then making the play. to pass and he's taken down at the 27 when you blitz you're leaving your corners on an island in man coverage and if those guys can't keep up with their man you can give up some long completions like this one so after the big pass play we've got a first down Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. This guy is mostly used to stop the run, but here he showed that he's not too bad against the pass either. They try to run it inside, and he's hammered. And the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. The offensive line has got to do a better job of making space because that was just a punishing hit. We head to the fourth quarter, and this one might be over. Our score here at Vaught Hemingway Stadium is Alabama 49, Old Miss 7. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 17. Looking to throw. Makes the catch, and look out. And he's tackled around the 14-yard line. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. From the 14-yard line, first down. Picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That brings, that brings up 
Second down. Defense gets set to defend the short field. He makes it to the nine. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Back to pass. They bring the quarterback down. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So they're going to go for it here. A lot of teams will lose the intensity when the game's already been decided. But not these young men. Another good stop right there. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. He's scrambling. Finds his receiver, and that's a first down. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. First down, 10 yards to go. Can't find anyone open. Catches it, and that's all. A five-yard gain. He got just a little bit of separation from the defender, and that was enough room for him to make the catch. Makes it, makes it, makes it, makes it. Now he's scrambling. Here comes the pressure. And they tackle him at the 34-yard line. That's still no excuse for this defense to just shut down. I mean, you would think that they would work even harder to stop these guys being down by so much. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Gives it to the back. They'll bring him down at the 23-yard line. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. From the 23-yard line, it's first down. Run right and hit in the backfield. No huddle here as they try to put up as many points as possible. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown! Five touchdowns now for this quarterback. He's having just a terrific game today. He's got great blocking up front the entire game, and his receivers are making plays. So I don't just give credit to the quarterback, but this entire offense for getting things done. He splits the uprights with the extra point. But here's the drive summary to recap what just happened. Yeah. Yeah. Alabama lines up for the kickoff. It's fielded at the two. Makes it to the 22-yard line. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They come out in a five-wide set. 
He looks to throw on first down. Caught, open field. He gets hit out of bounds at the 32. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, it's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice gain. From their own 32-yard line, second down. a hand up but brought down before he could go anywhere that was just smash mouth helmet to chin football by the defensive line there they dominated the point of attack brought down at the 32 yard line classic situational play calling running strong on third and short and move the chains From their own 32-yard line. First down. And they make the stop at the 40. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. That makes it second and two. Second and two. And he brought down in the backfield. Loss of about two. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. He's looking to pass. And he hits him hard at the 49. From the 49-yard line, first down. Straight in the middle, and he meets the defense. A pickup of about three. That'll make it second and seven. Second down, seven yards to go. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Takes the handoff inside and stopped immediately. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. Third down and they need to get it down to the 39. Go to the ground and he stops short. This is a good call by the defensive coordinator. He guessed run, and when the offense came with it, his guys were in position to make the stop. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Tackle made at the four-yard line. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. Yeah, there was no lack of offense on that last drive. The offense will start at the four. First and ten. Straight run. Nothing going on there. That'll be a gain of three yards. They came with a good blitz from the edge here and disrupted the blocking scheme of this run. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the seven. He'll get it again. Gets out to around the 18. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain and a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 18. Another run. 
and he's tackled around the 31-yard line. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. Chucks it deep down the right side. He's in the open. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown time. Oh, boy. This is what I just can't stand. You're already up by a few scores. Why in the world would you try to run up the score? Just take a knee and show some class. This one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Alabama 63, Old Miss 7. Time to enjoy another look at Reese's Perfect Play of the Game, brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Herbie, what do you got for us? Coming into this game, I thought that these two teams were pretty evenly matched, so the fact that they won by such a comfortable margin really says a lot about what a great game they played. Alabama was so impressive in this win. I thought this was going to be nip and tuck, but they just ran these guys out of the stadium. Now we take a look at our player of the game, and a donation of $10,000 will be made to his school's general scholarship fund. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports, Aaron Andrews and Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 11. Yeah. <laughs>